something strange is going on. Two distinct and different diseases, schizophrenia and severe obesity, seem to share a handful of genes. What's going on? Lundbeck Foundation fellow Tuna Pierce knows the answer is in here somewhere, hidden in the billions and billions of data we have on human genes, proteins and the communications between our cells. Today's challenge in genetics is how to interpret all of this information. That's what I do by conducting statistical analyses on large sets of data. To find the bits of information that matter is not an easy task. The biochemistry of a human being is an extremely complicated system, far more complex than a modern city. If you didn't know what goes on in an urban community, could you figure it out strictly from analysing enormous amounts of information? Numbers of footsteps, sizes of shoes, shapes of windows, statistics on the use of umbrellas on a given day. What I do is to identify patterns among billions of measurements on genes, proteins and their communication within and outside human cells. I then track down precisely how the biology of a cell or tissue changes when a gene has a slight variation from the normal. This is how Tuna Pierce expects to uncover how variations in a handful of genes change the biology of the brain cells they are expressed in and thus how the small changes in genes can lead to schizophrenia as well as severe obesity. When we know that, we'll have made an important step towards helping people with neuropsychiatric diseases and people at risk of developing obesity. And thus, what seems strange today will seem logical tomorrow.